episode of The Next Stage, I thought I would tackle how to prevent addiction to opioids. With the crisis that we're having in Nevada, it's becoming an epidemic. And I'm so excited to be with my friend Carolyn Dolan today. Carolyn is the creator of Vitakinetics. It's an active recovery blend. And in April, April 12th of this year, I had a full hip replacement. Uh, a lot of people think, how can this happen? You're 45 years old. But I can honestly tell you that my experience with using Vitakinetics Kinetics was such a benefit to me because one of the things I was most concerned about was becoming addicted to opioids. It was something I just didn't want. And I wanted to kind of talk with you a little bit, Carolyn. First of all, I could not have got through this process without Vitakinetics and your friendship and support above all. But to just go through something like this at such a young age, to be 45 and be getting a full hip replacement was something I was very nervous about. But the biggest thing for me was how could I avoid opioids? Explain to me a little bit about how Vitakinetics and the Recovery Blend works. Vitakinetics was designed to optimize the inflammatory process or our healing process. And in times of planned inflammatory onslaught, like a total hip replacement, uh, you want to support that process, you get a full healing. Um, and it can reduce the healing times a little bit and it reduces your soreness from the procedures, all without those dangerous addictive tendencies. Now, another important piece to this, particularly because you are also a mother, is one of the things that is really interesting about the opiate crisis that I, as I was developing this product and doing research into that, that our young adults and our young kids are the ones that are most at risk for addiction. And one of the number one ways people gain access to opiates is through a friend or a family member who maybe has gone through a surgical procedure. So in having those medications given to you as you are recovering from an injury, you, you not only are putting yourself at risk and not supporting your inflammatory healing process, but potentially putting others at risk by exposure alone. So it was really important to me as the founder to find something that, well, we don't need people to suffer and taking something that actually promotes healing is far better than something that potentially is dangerous. Well, and I just felt like my experience was I came home, I was given uh, high doses of opioids to take and I was really focused on getting off of that and I can say that about the fifth day I was done with opioids and I was fully I had been taking the vitakinetics right after the surgery before the surgery in preparation and I truly believe that because I was taking those that my recovery process was faster I was able to get off those opioids faster but also it makes my well-being overall, I still take Vitakinetics to this day. Absolutely. And while I think also not only maybe a little bit faster with that healing process, but I look at it as completing the healing process and managing or optimizing your inflammatory response when life comes at you unexpectedly, either with an injury or increased life stress. I mean, there's a lot of things that happen that can be inflammatory in our lives and kind of tip our balance into too much and create problems, health conditions. And this just helps bring you back into that optimal stage so you can get the healing, the redu reduction in soreness, and uh, keep moving. I think what was really interesting that I learned in the process heading into my hip replacement, um, after doing some of my blood work, it was determined that I had affected my kidneys from the amount of ibuprofen that I had been taking leading up to before meeting you and prepping for the surgery because to me, that was what you were supposed to do. It's an anti-inflammatory, and that is not the case. And to know now that I had done damage to my kidneys, is it's something that I'm frustrated with because I honestly thought it's an over-the-counter drug that was gonna help me, and in the end, it did not. We often think that because it's over-the-counter that it inherently means it's safe. And what we don't realize is that there are potentially long-term consequences. And while there is a place for those types of medications, you know, the anti-inflammatories or even the opiates or certain conditions where it does have a place, we become dependent on them and using them far too often when 
we have a little bit of a soreness here or we, we work out too hard and we're sore and we're not really realizing how much it's affecting us systemically, not just that pain in your ankle. You know, it is affecting, has long-term consequences in different organ systems. It's a natural recipe, but that you can't necessarily consume enough. So say vitamin C, at therapeutic dosing, you'd have to eat like 10 oranges. That's we not don't, gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. And so we want to get at a therapeutic level so you can actually see or feel the benefit of it. But it matters both what's in the supplement, how much of it is in there. And it also provides convenience because rather than having five different supplements, um, on your counter, it's in one bottle. That was the biggest thing for me. I was taking a vitamin E here and a vitamin D here and adding a vitamin C and trying to put turmeric in my coffee and it was the convenience, I think, that really sold me on Vitakinetics, of course, how I felt and just experiencing the recovery that I had after my hip surgery and to be back. I mean, I'm at six months now and I'm at full recovery. I'm back at the gym. I know for a fact that Vitakinetics is a key component to that and just overall my lifestyle I just I feel that this is allowing me we all have stresses in our life and this is really a product that I see as giving individuals an option to avoid opioids to still have an option if you are suffering from those aches and pains after a hard workout you know maybe you went on a long mountain bike ride and you're and you're sore this is a better option than reaching for that ibuprofen which down the road could cause some issues like it did for myself do you think that vitakinetics is really the next stage of avoiding opioids and finding a better way to deal with pain i certainly hope so because when i was doing my investigative work for developing this, I didn't find much available that really provided you a more natural option. And selfishly, I'm happy that it's available because when my son had, um, had to have surgery for a ruptured appendix, I was really excited to have something uh, less dangerous available for him. But also for myself, knowing that it's available makes me feel good and hearing like your story or other patients or clients that have taken it and noticed that, wow, I got through that procedure and I didn't need to take those opiates and that makes me feel really good. I mean, that was one of the things that tipped the balance to keep pushing forward with this. If you'd like to learn more about Vitakinetics, you can visit their website at vitakinetics.com. On the website, you'll find information about how to purchase Vitakinetics, information, testimonials, blogging, more information about how you can get back to being yourself and avoiding those opioids. Again, visit vitakinetics.com.